Hey guys, Green Kid 2000 here. Today we're going to be continuing our series on the animation software called Miku Miku Dance. Last time we discussed how to download and install MMD. If you've already done that, then that's good. You're caught up. Now that we have the software installed, we're going to go over downloading models for MMD. First and foremost, what do I mean when I say models? Models are basically the figures that we animate with. In 2D animation, characters are usually drawn by scratch, frame by frame, but in 3D animation, a character model is created and you use that model to animate as many times as you want. It's basically like a puppet that you control. MMD has its own set of models that can be used and they're good for animation practice, but there aren't too many models available. This is why we'll want to branch out and find other models being shared on the internet. But the big question is, how do I make a model? Well, to be honest, creating a model, especially for MMD, is a pretty lengthy process and I'll definitely go over it in another video in the future, but let's start off simple. It's much easier to just borrow other people's models. So where do I find these models? There are several sites that you can use. Here are two sites that I recommend. Site number one, Bolro. Bolro is a site specifically made for people to share their creations from Miku Miku Dance. The site's mostly in Japanese, but your web browser should be able to translate the pages. When you get to bolro.net, click on the three straight lines on the left hand side, then click file. This will lead you to the page where you can find all the models. As you can see, there are already some on the main page. If you'd like to search for a specific model, you can just use the search engine and type in the desired model. And once you find the model that you like, you can click on it and scroll down to see an orange button that says download. And doing so will download a zip file with the model in it. Keep in mind that not everyone's models are public. Some are password protected, but they give you hints to figure out what the password is. Kinda sucks, but you gotta respect the distributor's privacy. We'll get more into the distributor rules in a minute, but let's talk about the second site that you can download models from. Site number two, DeviantArt. Now, I know DeviantArt gets a lot of bad rap for having so much furry content, but it doesn't take away from the fact that there are some amazing artists on there. And it just so happens that DeviantArt is a large MD model distribution source. Just like on Bull Roll, you can search for the model you want, and you'll find people that are promoting that model, and some will allow you to download them. Since DeviantArt does more than just making the dance, make sure to put in the right words for the search category. For instance, put MMD, insert model, download as a search option. Once you find the model you want, you'll see this big downward arrow by the side. This is how you download the model, and sure enough, it'll download the model as a zip file. I'd also like to note that you can join groups that will constantly share models. Just go to groups.deviantart.com and search MMD, and you'll find different communities that distribute models. This is what I usually do whenever I need a certain model for animation, and it's so convenient because most groups have different categories for you to find the right model. Okay, we've gone over how to download the models, now let's add them into Make Me Dance. In order to do so, take the zip file you just downloaded, right click on it and extract it, which will bring out a folder with the model. Before doing anything else, it's important to read the readme. Some of these models have rules that you must follow, especially if you plan on making a video animation and sharing it online. It's very important to respect the distributor's rules. Alright, so let's open up a new window of MMD. Now that it's open, it's time to pull in our model. See that red box on the left? That's where you can manipulate the model. Click on the load button. This will lead you to your directories. Search for the folder where you unzipped that model file and click on the PMX file. Models are either defined in PMD or PMX format. Once you click on it, voila, it should display your model. Also, keep in mind you can load this model multiple times into the software, or you can load different types of models into the same page. This is where things get juicy. Next time we're going to learn how to animate with these models. I hope this tutorial helped you a little and let me know if you have any questions. Until then, be cool, be wild, and be groovy.